All right, it's a sad day for VeChain. We're capitulating very, very hard right now. Uh, it's not just VeChain. Obviously, everything is capitulating. Bitcoin is coming down to that 29,000 region. In fact, it came down to 29,000 earlier. And every altcoin is currently getting decimated against Bitcoin. You can see VeChain is down 21% today. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these, but the majority of altcoins are down between 20, 30, 50%. You know, you've even got Luna down 93% for a very, very different reason. I did make a news update on that. But yeah, everything is getting absolutely slaughtered right now. I would really not be looking to trade any altcoins. That is VeChain included. I lived through the 2017 bear market and I'm telling you, it looks very, very similar to what we're seeing right now. And when you see, you know, very, very good projects like VeChain with good fundamentals going down 21% in a day, you know, down 16% against Bitcoin, this is normally the, the stage where things are about to get ugly. So looking at VeChain in terms of the volume, we are dropping like a rock, but we are coming down to somewhat of a okay area of support this could potentially mean that v chain could capitulate to as low as 2694 which i mean it really isn't too far away from where we are right now oh it's actually about 12 percent. i must be zoomed out pretty hard but yeah this this is about you know another 11 or 12 percent uh decrease from where we are right now now why in my opinion do i think that we're not going to hold this level well if we look at the volume right now, first of all, when you're dropping in a downtrend, it, what you want to see if you are about to have a reversal is bearish volume stepping in at first, but then bearish volume starting to subside. On the flip side, if you are dumping and you start seeing bullish volume increasing like this, that's also another sign that we could be having a reversal. But when you drop and you see bearish momentum like this step up and up and up, it's normally a sign that the bottom is not in. I hate to say it, but you know, no moon boy antics on this channel. I do just call it how I see it and it looks like we are moving down. So uh, like I said, in my opinion, it looks like we've got about another 12% to come down. Now, by the time I post this, considering how fast everything's capitulating, I wouldn't be surprised if we were already down to this level. So where is the next macro level? Well, I'm going to remove some of these macro fibs that we've got on the chart because we are having huge, huge macro moves at this moment in time. The next level of support I see down for VeChain is very, very far. This is a 73% drop uh, from where we are at this moment in time. And to be honest, we actually have lows before we do reach that region. So we wouldn't necessarily make it uh, all the way down there. Let me mark it green. Uh, my orange lines are normally Fibonacci's by the way. But you can see if we did capitulate below this trend line, we could have about another 54% drop uh, on our hands before we do break back bullish. So I'd be very, very cautious about trading VeChain right now. I'd be very cautious about trading altcoins. I've been talking about this in all my altcoin videos I told everyone on my Discord, if you want to join the Discord, the link's in the description down below. And I've been posting this on Twitter as well. You know, I posted this yesterday, 24, almost 24 hours ago. I said, I love being a moon boy when it's bullish, but looking at things objectively, the DXY is super bullish and the stock market is super bearish. And I said, altcoin holders are about to get slaughtered. Since I posted that, all the altcoins are completely capitulating and and v chain is down 22 percent so be very very cautious keep your eyes on 2654 if we do capitulate below that level we're gonna have uh, another you know 55 percent capitulation down to 1.2 cent in my opinion which would not be the most far-fetched thing considering how Bitcoin is acting. So I'm going to wrap up the video there. Also, if you did want to follow uh, my Twitter, because I said, you know, the Discord is in the link down below if you do want that. If you want to follow my Twitter, uh, my Twitter is over here at 618 underscore cowboy. Uh, I really mainly share memes, uh, so a lot of art, NFTs, uh, and also sometimes, you know, time sensitive information and uh, interesting charts like I've been posting for the past couple of days. So that's really all I've got for VeChain. I wish you best of luck if you are in these markets. My trading plan while we're entering this bearish phase is to only accumulate Bitcoin. I do not plan on buying any altcoins while the market is looking like this. That's all I've got. The reason for this is, like I said, 
alt crane holders are going to get slaughtered against bitcrane since i posted that if you wanted to buy ape coin you can buy it for 35 percent cheaper against bitcrane v chain is like 18 percent cheaper Theta fuel is 25 luna is like 90 percent cheaper kda is like 28 percent cheaper against bitcoin everything is becoming cheaper against bitcoin so by sitting on the sidelines you're really doing yourself a favor in my opinion just my trading plan just some food for thought as always cowboy out peace